right now let's come back and see the next cell that is a primary battery that is mercury cell compared to the dry cell this is more costlier and there's certain applications also give it just to memorize those applications so now in mercury cell i said whenever you're writing battery anodic compartment is important cathode what is made important electrolyte is important anodic half cell is important cathodic half cell is important as well as overall reaction so in mercury cell basically the diagram is not so perfect enough i just made you to visualize now in mercury cell you first have <coughs> amalgamated zinc acting as an anode let us write that first so first important thing anode is amalgamated amalgamated zinc okay how am i going to write amalgamated zinc is zinc in the bracket hg next comes to your cathode your cathode is made up of two important things just see a paste of mercury oxide as well as carbon this mercury mercury oxide and carbon together it's made as a paste which acts as a cathode so there is a mercury mercury oxide and carbon acts as cathode when i have to see the electrolyte which is present in this the electrolyte which i'm going to take is yes see it is potassium hydroxide with saturated solution okay you are very well know what are saturated solutions saturated solution of zinc hydroxide okay simple done now let's see now the voltage which the mercury cell is going to produce okay i'll write it here voltage which the mercury cell is going to use is 1.35 volts this is the that when i have to write the cell reactions first let us write the anodic reaction observe carefully anodic reaction oxidation will happen loss of electrons will happen so where will it start where are we now we are having anodic anode here so how to write that first write this see zinc amalgam done yes now this is going to combine with now you have koh is an electrolyte which is there isn't it now observe carefully the oh minus from here to oh minus i'll tell you because they'll get cancelled later so two oh minus done so what are they going to do they are going to for release out <coughs> two electrons from a complex so what do you get you get zinc hydroxide okay done now at the cathodic reaction okay at the cathodic reaction what will happen you have mercury oxide and carbon isn't it okay we'll combine together we'll pick up this mercury oxide which is made as a paste that's why it is called mercury cell so that hgo mercury oxide aqueous done paste as it is in aqueous form picks up these two electrons done right now what is happening the whole complex it together forms this mercury is out again for reuse and the leftover <coughs> what do we have you have it, it's going to pick up two electrons isn't it yeah now your oh minus okay just observe carefully this mercury is out and your oh this is h2o and this is o so that there are two oh minus two oh minus is out now observe carefully what what am i cancelling yeah this two oh and this two oh gets cancelled this two electron this two electron gets cancelled now this water is a part of the paste not not required to write in the reaction so start from here this is zinc zinc amalgam and this is solid plus mercury oxide just below that is hgo hgo not required to write water because it is form of a paste i said gives us zinc hydroxide and mercury is out this is your uh, mercury cell mercury cell release of mercury which is regenerated so write the cathode anode voltage cathodic reaction electrolyte anodic half cell reaction cathodic overall reaction and uses